If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, go over to ringsidecollectiblesrestlingfigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save 10% where you can get all of your epic WWE action figures, play sets, accessories, and much, much more. What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic Mod AM Toys video. Today we have a 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review on the brand new Elite 72 Roderick Strong and Buddy Murphy. Now, I will say guys, I am very excited for this review. I mean, my god, we have two of my favorite superstars. Like, literally my favorite, if not my top two favorite NXT superstars. Besides Finn Balor, you know, Finn Balor just got up on NXT. So Finn Balor will probably be number one, obviously, but before that, for a long time, it was Roderick Strong and Adam Cole was right there underneath him. But Roderick Strong is here today in the flesh, guys, after all the controversy with his first Elite, with his first Basic, with all the stuff being canceled. He is finally here today in the flesh as an Elite figure, which I'm very excited for. My boy Roddy Strong is finally here. And then we have the Buddy Murphy Elite that we have been desperately waiting for for so very long, guys. And it is finally here. It's not the Black Attire. The Black Attire is the Chase variant. And now here they both are. And I am just, God almighty, what an epic review we're about to have. I also just got back from vacation literally like 30 seconds ago and I went ahead and hit this review so that I could post it up for you guys and you guys could enjoy your Sunday with an epic MDT video. But guys, let's go ahead and dive into this review. Of course, when we slide it to the right, oh, let's just take a moment, shall we? Like this is new Elite packaging, am I right? This is brand new Elite packaging. You guys can see they have their names down at the bottom. Elite logo is over here to the left side. We spin it around. You always got to have your beautiful images of the talents on the side of the box. On the back, we don't have like a big image anymore. You have like a smaller image you have their you know little stuff if you'd like to read it you can pause it now you know their info and things of that nature we have the rest of the figures in the wave which is a pretty solid wave we have other pictures so the picture that they would probably put on the back is now on the side of the packaging here with murphy and strong and if we spin it to the front obviously we're back to where we originally started but i can't wait anymore guys we got to get these hoes out of their packaging we're going to do some comparisons breaking down everything about the figures in the box out of the box farts in the bag let's just, just shut the hell up and get the you started. So here's Roderick Strong and Buddy Murphy out of their packaging, guys. Looking pretty freaking terrific, I might say. If you go ahead and look, guys, Buddy Murphy is 5'11 and Roderick Strong is 5'10. And you can see, I think they perfectly nailed the height here between the two. Buddy Murphy is literally slightly taller than Roderick Strong. I think this is a perfect two-in-one figure review because we can take a look at those height comparisons there and we can take a look at everything. But you guys know how these reviews work. We're going to run through the accessories of Roderick Strong and then take a closer look at Roderick Strong himself. And then we'll run it back, take a closer a look at Buddy Murphy's accessories and then Buddy Murphy. So with that being said guys, let's dive into Roderick Strong's accessories. So with Roderick Strong, guys, we do get quite a few accessories. You know, they're not the best accessories. However, I can appreciate them. We do have this rubber t-shirt, which, I mean, let's be honest, guys. We have been talking about the rubber t-shirts. And you know what's odd is we've actually gotten Undisputed Era short sleeve cloth t-shirts. And we've gotten the Adam Cole Bebe shirt, all cloth. I don't know why they couldn't have given us this shirt and cloth. I'm not sure if they ran out of budget between some, you know, different things. I'm not sure exactly what the deal is there. But we do get a rubber shirt on the back, though. It does have the Shock the System logo. Logo. And it, I mean, it's, it looks good and everything. I just, I, I will never use this. It will go straight into the crowd. And I would much rather put the older Undisputed Era t-shirt on it with the sleeves cut off or something. So I am not going to use this, but you do get an Undisputed Era t-shirt. His other accessories do include a armband that has the Undisputed Era logo on it right there. And I don't know what it is, but it's like they tried to print it again, I guess. And it's got like you know, a bunch of paint missing right there, but they did give me two different logos. I have the one full logo, and I guess it goes on like that, but when I make an undisputed, I'm probably going to order another Roderick Strong. That way I can have one with the armband and one without the armband, and I won't use this removable one. I will be using a painted on one from the Undisputed Era 3-pack, so if anybody has one of those arms or upper arms or one of those figures for trade, I would love to do so, so I can get, you know, that upper arm and everything. On to the next accessory, guys. We do get the Undisputed Chera. This is obviously from NXT War Games or NXT TakeOver War Games where the Undisputed Era came in there with all those chairs and they had the Undisputed Era logo on there. It's your basic folding chair that we've seen from Mattel many, many times before. You have the WWE logo and then, of course, the Undisputed Era logo and it is, you know, the Undisputed Chair. All of them were toting chairs. They're the Undisputed Era, Undisputed Chair. So you get that. 
And then, of course, we have our beautiful Undisputed Era hands right here. And, of course, you cross it over. The left hand would be the Undisputed, and the right hand would be the Era. So when you cross it over like this, you get Undisputed Era, which is very, very sick. But we're going to have to buy 600 of these to put them on our figures. And there is a complaint I have about these, which we'll get into when we break down the figure itself. But that pretty much does it for Roderick Strong's accessories, guys. So now that we have done that, let's take a closer look at Roddy Strong himself. So taking a closer look at my boy, guys, let's break down this look of Roderick Strong. And I think it definitely looks like Roderick Strong. I think the likeness is there. One thing I will say is I think the head may be a little bit too big, possibly. And the body choice, I'm not a big fan of. It's not a huge deal breaker for me. You know, I'm still going to buy the figure. I love Roderick Strong. I'm going to grab a bunch of these just because I love the guy. He's one of my favorites. You know, I'm going to definitely pick it up. However, I think that the, a more ripped up torso could have worked. I don't know if the, you know, the, the Buddy Murphy torso or the Finn Balor torso would have been good or maybe the Mizdow torso in a different skin tone. I'm not sure what would look better because that torso, the Mizdow torso, kind of makes makes their head sit higher on the neck. So I don't know. We'll have to play around with that. Maybe I can torso crack it, see what it's about, see if I like it, and then switch it back. But I do like the head sculpt and the body mold's not terrible. I like that the height is right, and I love the attire that they gave him. Now we're waiting. See, but this is what's dumb. Our Elite 71 Adam Cole should have had these tights on to match our Roderick Strong, and then they could have came up with an Elite 2 pack or maybe a series down the line of Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish in the camo War Games attire. So I don't know why they did that, but... Nonetheless, it's still a beautiful attire. I love the shock logos. I love the Undisputed Era logo. Beautiful camo tights going on. Strong logo on the back. You have the short Dean Malenko legs. You have the closed knee pads. You have the short boots because Roderick wears them. They're ugly, but he wears them. That's just the way he does it. You get the elbow pad on the left arm. And I mean, that's basically it. You get beautiful camo tights, and then you get the beautiful head sculpt. And Roderick Strong is complete. But um, after this, guys, we have to do some elite figure comparisons. And since we don't have an elite Roderick Strong to compare it to, I never made a custom. I never liked any of the formulas floating around the internet about how to make a Roderick Strong. So with that being said, guys, let's get into some Undisputed Era Elite Figure Comparisons. So before we get into the Undisputed Elite Figure Comparisons, guys, I did want to take a closer look at Roderick Strong right here, and this is what I'm talking about. We all knew this is going to happen, but the single jointed arms that Mattel gives us is not going to allow you to cross over their arms to do the Undisputed Era logo sign thing with their hands. So that is just something to take note of. Obviously, we, we knew that that would be a thing. Um, I'm going to do some testing around with maybe the Shinsuke Nakamura arms and see if I can, you know, put those on some different figures and see if these hands will indeed be able to cross and make that Undisputed Era thing. So if you want to buy multiple, you know, Ultimate Edition Shinsuke's, maybe when they go on clearance, you know, put those arms onto your Undisputed Era so that you can cross that over and stuff. That is just something to take note of. And, you know, that is a minor gripe. Even though I knew it wouldn't happen, uh, I still had to mention it in the video. But now that we have done that, guys, let's get into those Undisputed Era comparisons. So now we are completely undisputed now that our Undisputed Era faction is complete with our Roderick Strong guys all draped in gold. We have Adam Cole, the Elite 71 on the left, the brand new Elite 72 Roderick Strong here on the left side, the Undisputed Era Epic Moments 3-pack Kyle O'Reilly, and then the 3-pack Bobby Fish to go with it. NXT Tag Titles, NXT North American Championship, and NXT Championship all draped in gold, all with their t-shirts, all just look freaking beautiful, man. This looks looks epic. The only thing we need now is all of them to have matching attires and then the world will be a safe place. I do also want to get armbands for this figure right here uh, for the, you know, the painted on just like my Undisputed Era of Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. But this looks excellent, man. This is freaking beautiful. I'm so happy. Thank you so much to Bill and Mattel for getting us our full Undisputed Era faction. We, of course, have two different Adam Coles. I'm sure that Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly as well as Roger Strong will all have figures in the future, but this is just freaking, oh, this is this is undisputed, right? This is undisputed to look at all these right here, man. This makes me hella excited. It's, it's just sick to see. So, thank you so very much, man. This this is great. But up next to all four, man, I mean, can you compare to this? I mean, you could re replace this with the Adam Cole from the Undisputed Era 3-pack, but I did want to use the one with the t-shirt and everything that I had on display, so this is what I got so far, but man, this is a beautiful sight, man. What a freaking sight to see. But now that we've done that, guys, let's move on to Buddy Murphy's accessories. 
So with Buddy Murphy, guys, we don't get a lot of accessories. I mean, what do you want to say? We get a Cruiserweight Championship that we've seen 652 times. It looks beautiful. It looks brilliant. So I don't know. Is it supposed to have the red line under there? I think it's supposed to. Not a big deal. You know, it, we've had plenty of those, so you could easily get one from another figure. And this is the interchangeable hands that we get. It is the pointing finger hands, and I guess this is to shush, right? It's supposed to put up to his lip and say shh. So that is something that I did want to do there. And we do have the tape tam for the right hand and then the non-tape tam for the left. And you could easily inter-switch Daniel Bryan's hands, I'm sure, if you wanted to. And this is our shush hand. So that is it for Buddy Murphy's accessories, guys. Pretty short and sweet. Nothing too crazy. But now that we have taken a closer look at his accessories, let's take a closer look at the best kept secret himself. So take a closer look at Buddy Murphy himself, guys. The best kept secret right here. We're going to pull up a head sculpt picture and, you know, compare the two. And when this figure first dropped, I was not a big fan of the head sculpt, guys. I just didn't think it looked like Buddy Murphy. It kind of looks like Stone Cold or... Carl, I don't know. It just doesn't look like Buddy Murphy to me. I feel like something's off about the head sculpt. They did kind of fix the beard. It's got like some shading going on and some dry brushing over the tip there. It's not perfect by any means, but it does look a lot better than it did in those images when we first saw it, so that is appreciated right there. I like the figure a lot. I love that we got the Finn Balor torso going on. I like the bigger arm mold that they chose. They chose the... I, I can't even remember the last figure that they used these for because I, I think it was Elite 23 Cesaro or maybe I did a fix-up. I don't remember the last time they used these arms guys so it's really nice to see these arms make a return this is where the money is made guys we get this brand new sculpt on the crotch piece which is his shorts obviously his athletic shorts that he wears for his athletic wrestling attire and we have the little drawstring here going up we have the belt sculpted on very nice sculpt you could probably make some cool custom figures with custom attires using this as a base so that's really nice you have the sh on the back for the best kept secret which is nice you got the back pocket sculpted on. You have the Murphy painted on there in red, white, and black. Looks so good, man. The only thing I have a problem with is his paint chipping. I'm not sure if I'm the only one that has this problem, though, but the white is chipping off the red right there. But this figure is on ball joint, so that is something that you may want to take note of. I do want to mention that. Also, Roderick Strong is also on ball joint. So both of these guys are both on ball joints. I don't even know if I got that in frame. Hopefully I did. But going down into the rest of the figure, guys, we do get the hand tape on the right hand, which was not included in the prototype image so that is something we got white wrist tape over here white knee pads white lower legs which adds to the depth of the figure i think that makes it look better and then we have these beautiful white and red kick pads with the details on the back and the black outsoles which ties it all together really nice attire man i'm really glad that this is the regular version and the chase variant is the black and white but if you guys want to pick up this buddy murphy what what does that say what is that the best kept secret logo yeah, that looks beautiful, man. Good job on that. But overall, man, I'm just really happy with this Buddy Murphy. I think my left leg may be a little bit loose, but it doesn't feel loose when you're doing this. Only when you, like, go out is it a little bit loose, so that's something to take note of as well. I'm not sure if it's just mine. You'll have to let me know down in the comment section below. But I am really, really satisfied with this Buddy Murphy figure, guys. So with that being said, let's take a closer look at some Buddy Murphy Elite Figure comparisons. So for our Buddy Murphy Elite Figure comparison, guys, we have to take a look at my beautiful custom made by Nick's Custom Toys right here of the WrestleMania 35 attire with the Joker. And my God, I mean, just look how well Nick did. He did add a lot of details. He sculpted on the knee pads. He sculpted on the little rivets on the back of the kick pads. He sculpted on the wrist tape, the elbow pad. I mean, my God, this man absolutely killed it. Look at the arms. He actually used the exact arms that Mattel ended up choosing. So that's pretty wicked. I think different lower arms, or maybe he sculpted on some lower arms to make them a little bit thicker. I think the head sculpts look pretty good. I mean, Degum, they look kind of similar. The skin tone's obviously repainted. He's got nipples, for Christ's sake. I love the attire that this with. I, w I wish that the Mattel one was the beautiful Joker attire, but... It's still really cool to have this uh, this custom Murphy. So now I have two different Elite Buddy Murphys, and then if I get the Chase variant, I'll have all three different attires there. So that would be beautiful to see. But Nick did an absolutely fantastic job on this Buddy Murphy, but now I get to put this on the shelf and let it sit there in all its beauty and not worry about damaging it while posing it around. And I will use this from now on to pose around and stuff like that. So with that being said, guys, we have finally done our Buddy Murphy Elite Figure comparisons.
I also want to give a huge shout out to Ringside Collectibles for making this review possible and sending us both of these Elite 72 action figures our way. Cannot wait to get into these figures, guys. And also, if you would like to pick up either of these figures, guys, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com. Use the promo code MBTOYS. You guys know that you want to use the promo code. Using the code definitely helps us out here on the channel, and we really, really appreciate it. So definitely, if you go over to Ringside Collectibles and purchase anything, guys, use the promo code MBTOYS. But thank you so much to Ringside Collectibles. But that pretty much does it for this 2-in-1 Elite figure review, guys. If you are on the fence about either of these figures, do not be on the fence anymore. Go buy these figures using the promo code MDTOYS. I mean, my God. You go over to Ringside Collectibles, punch in the MD Toys, you'll get 10% off. Helps out the channel, helps you out as well. Great little give and go there. I love both of these. I think they're must-haves. You know, you want your Elite Buddy Murphy for your collection. I mean, my God, he's very fantastic. I am a huge fan of Buddy Murphy. And I'm a huge fan of Roderick Strong. you got to have Roderick Strong so that you can complete your Undisputed Era faction with your North American Championship and your beautiful Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish, and Adam Cole figure. So both of them are must-haves in my personal opinion. So definitely go over to Ringside Collectibles, guys. Purchase some things. Get in on their sales. Use the code and pick up some epic figures while you're at it. But I totally enjoyed the review. I totally enjoyed both these figures. I cannot wait to pose them around some more and get it going. I, sh I appreciate you guys who watched this review all the way from start to finish. If you watched it all the way to the end, give me a hashtag my damn buddy strong down in the comment section below. But thank you guys so very much for watching the review. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.